That's a great cause. Thanks so much, Angela. It is 22 minutes after 7 o'clock. Professor Jordan Peterson first came to public notice a couple of years ago over his stand on using alternate gender pronouns, specifically being forced to use them. He became a lightning rod for defenders of free speech and a target for those who see him as intolerant. Today, Peterson has one and a half million subscribers on his YouTube channel and his self-help book, 12 Rules for Life is a bestseller. Now, a new documentary airing on CBC tonight charts the rise of Jordan Peterson. It is called Shut Him Down, The Rise of Jordan Peterson. And it's from filmmaker Patricia Marcocha. She joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. Patricia, tell us the story about how this documentary came about, because it, it was almost an accident, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So I had been uh, familiar with Jordan Peterson's work for a very long time, since probably about 2004, 2005, uh, back when I was an undergraduate student studying psychology. I didn't study at the University of Toronto where he taught. I studied at McMaster University, but I came across his book, Maps of Meaning, and I found the ideas in it very fascinating. Um, it was all about how it is that people come to form meaningful worldviews and why it is that they'll fight to hold on to those worldviews. So I followed his work for a long time and this interest developed into a feeling at the back of my mind that I should make a documentary about him. And in spring 2015, I finally uh, pursued this idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I approached him um, with this interest and started talking about the different things happening in his life. And at that point, I learned about his friendship with First Nations carver Charles Joseph, who's based on the West Coast. He's part of the Kwakwakwak Nation. And at that point, I decided to follow the, their friendship, and uh, Jordan was being adopted into Charles's family. And I thought this was very interesting, and this was a story worth following. So that's what I decided to focus my documentary on. And, so and then what happened? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so I focused on that for a year and a half, and then uh, Jordan Peterson published his YouTube video series called Professor Against Political Correctness, and then everything changed. And so what happened at that moment, and, and at what point did you realize, okay, I have another story on my hands here? Mm -hmm. So I didn't see the videos coming. I didn't know that this was going to happen, um, and it immediately hit the news. There was a lot of people talking about it on social media, and I didn't know what to make of it. So, of course, my immediate impulse was, what is going on right now? Um, so I was trying to, um, you know, collect as much information as possible, and even just getting time to sit down with Jordan and talk about it was difficult because so much media was contacting him at that point. Um, and I started following the uh, rallies that were taking place on University of Toronto campus, uh, which we show in the documentary. And it was probably three weeks uh, into the controversy, uh, I would say, that I finally decided, okay, I definitely need to put my initial project on pause, um, and I need to focus on this because there's so much to unravel and understand, and this is what's on people's minds, and so they need to understand this, and it's taken over Jordan's life, so um, I have to kind of follow this wherever it's going. Does the the public Jordan Peterson, the one who is so uh, polarizing, um, to your mind, fit with the the personal Jordan Peterson, who you obviously must have gotten to know over the years? I find it so interesting that you framed it that way because. Uh one of the questions that I actually find the most difficult to answer is simply, what do you think of Jordan Peterson? Because I find that it is so complex. There is, you know, Jordan Peterson, the person who's, you know, spending time with his family and friends. And then there's this public uh, person, Jordan Peterson. And, you know, one of the things that I explore in the film is is this question of who is Jordan Peterson throughout all of this. And um, as people who watch the film will come to see it, it's something that Jordan is trying to figure out as well. Um, but to answer your question of do I think those two things go together, I mean, I think throughout this controversy, people have seen a lot of um, angry Jordan Peterson, I guess. And, um, and that's not necessarily because he's an angry person, but, you know, he's been going through this tumultuous period and he's been talking a lot about things that make him angry. Um,
but I think, you know, the the person he's showing himself to be, I mean, it is genuine the way that uh, he is talking about it, but to get the best picture of Jordan publicly, um, it's best to look at some of the long-form videos or long-form um, lectures that he does to get um, a better picture of who he is. Um, he has one and a half million subscribers on his YouTube channel. His last appearance here in Calgary sold out. Um, what is it about his message that you think appeals to so many people and in particular to so many men? Mm -hmm. So I think partially it's about his message and partially it's about the the time that we're in. So one of the interesting things for me in observing how um, he's become so popular and how all of this has taken place is that because I was so familiar with his work beforehand, I know that before he became famous, he was sort of a mini celebrity at the University of Toronto already. Um, he had a reputation of being a life-changing professor. He was the kind of professor where after classes would end, students would line up to ask him questions. And, um, you know, they would give little gifts on the last day of class because they were so inspired by the things that he was talking about. So in a way, I guess the way that I see it is he's always had these messages about how to find meaning in life. And, um, you know, th those are some of the deepest places that you can go with people. And so um, he's always sort of had this effect on people. It's just that now it's on a much, much larger scale. Well, people can see it for themselves. They can watch your documentary tonight. Patricia, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. That's Patricia Marcocha. She's the filmmaker behind Shut Him Down, The Rise of Jordan Peterson. It airs tonight on CBC Television at 9 o'clock. We have two collisions this morning on the trans.